Here are some common mistakes people make when using a bread machine. Bread machines are designed to be foolproof, but they're not. I really enjoy the ease and simplicity bread machines offer. Sometimes I can forget an important step like adding cooking oil or keeping the space around the bread machine open for good air circulation. Despite the convenience and with due respect to the designers and engineers who build bread making machines, there are considerations and consequences for improper use that should be avoided. I've learned these lessons the hard way, so I'm passing them along in the hopes of helping others avoid them. Firstly, I have learned that the location where you keep your bread machine in the kitchen dramatically influences the baking process outcome. High humidity or low humidity can affect how yeast rises as well as proofing times before baking. The temperature in the kitchen will also affect the bread's baking characteristics. If the kitchen is too hot, the bread surface can crack and crevice severely. If the kitchen is too cold, the yeast won't rise as well and bread proofing takes longer. Make sure the dough is thoroughly mixed. While many bread machines have view windows in the lid, some don't have them. That makes it difficult to determine if the dough is processing correctly. Even the bread makers with windows may not provide a clear view of the results. Don't worry, it's okay to lift the lid and check on what's happening. Checking to see if yeast is active and alive is critical, and the best way to do that is to examine it closely. It's also important to confirm the mixing and kneading processes have been fully accomplished. Take a look and see for yourself. Feel the dough to make sure it isn't too wet or too dry. This is especially important for home recipes more than prepackaged products. Make sure your ingredients are converted for a bread machine. To me, it seems like baking 101, but many bakers fail to hit the target when it comes to correct ingredient amounts. The prepackaged bread mixes don't suffer from this problem, but if you follow your own recipe, you must consider that bread machines knead and bake bread differently from traditional methods, and adjustments to ingredients are frequently needed. Follow the steps. Performing each step that occurs in the process of baking bread and taking each step in the proper turn greatly affects the eventual outcome. Each ingredient must go in at the right time, in the right way, and in the right amount. Not following the recommended procedures in the recipe instructions will normally result in disaster. Shape the dough. As the bread dough increases in size from yeast expansion, it often becomes misshapen and off balance. Reshaping the bread loaf to a symmetric and more pleasing appearance after its final rise helps the bread machine do its job more efficiently. I perform this task every time I use the bread machine, and the end result looks much more appealing and bakes more evenly, eliminating pockets of gooey, undercooked dough. Overcome my urge to remove the loaf too fast once it is done. Unfortunately, in their haste to taste and their desire to admire, many bakers remove the bread before it has cooled down. Leave the bread inside the machine until it cools completely. If you don't, you run the risk of having condensation build under the loaf, causing the crust to become mushy. Some loaves of bread will wrinkle on the surface if they're removed too soon, leaving the loaf looking more like dinosaur scales. Remove the mixing paddles. While it may not make a big difference to a lot of bakers, the mixing paddles in the bread machine will leave a hole in the bottom of the bread loaf if they're not removed after mixing. The hole can affect how the loaf looks as well as provide an unwanted outlet for moisture inside the bread. I think it's a good idea to take them out because nobody wants a less than perfect loaf of fresh baked bread, do they? And lastly, but probably most importantly, using the wrong yeast in your dough will have a big impact on how the bread will turn out. I have just written a detailed post about it. Just follow the link in the description below this video for my full article where I cover everything there is to know about using yeast when baking with a bread maker. Check it out now.